Hi guys, welcome to Royal Logos. It's my pleasure to have you here and I really hope that you all are doing well. In today's logo design tutorial, we will design this logo by using Adobe Illustrator. So without wasting any time, let's continue with the design process in Illustrator. So first of all, go to File, select New, then select the units to pixels, set the width of your page to 1920 and height to 1080 pixels and select OK. Now first of all select the ellipse tool, left click on the page then select the value of width to 520 and also for the height 520 then select OK. We doesn't need the solid color so we will cancel it by clicking on this cross icon and assign it some stroke color like this black color and simply increase the value of stroke width for better visibility. So click on this drop down menu and select the value of stroke width to 3 points. Again left click on the page and this time select the value of width to 160 and also for the height to 160 and select OK. Then select the selection tool, deselect the circle by clicking on the white area, then select the rectangle tool and now we will draw a rectangle from this quadrant to this quadrant. Then again select the selection tool, select both of these shapes, go to windows and select pathfinder. Then select unite. Now we will increase the value of the stroke width, so simply select on this drop down menu and select the value to 80 points. Then go to object, go to path and select outline stroke. Now select this circle and we doesn't need the stroke, so we will cancel it by clicking on this cross icon and assign it some solid color like this black color. Now simply select both of these shapes, go to align menu and from this align to select align to artboard and simply select horizontal align center and also vertical align center. And now we simply want to rotate over shape at 45 degrees in the clockwise direction. So simply select the rotation tool, then select the value of angle to minus 45 degrees and select OK. And now it's time to design the wings. So select the rectangle tool, left click on the page and this time select the value of width to 310 and for the height to 80 pixels and press enter. I will assign a different color so that we can differentiate between the parts. So simply select this color menu and apply this red color. Again left click on the page and this time select the value of height to 50 pixels and press enter. Also apply it a different color like this blue color. Select the selection tool and simply drag this blue rectangle at the bottom face of the red one. Select both of these shapes and simply drag them at this position. Then deselect them by clicking on the white area. Again select the rectangle tool, left click on the page and this time select the value of width to 180 pixels and for the height to only 80 pixels and select OK. Then select the selection tool and drag this red rectangle at the corner of this blue one. Then simply drag this blue rectangle at this position, select both of these red ones, right click and select group. And simply drag them at the left side of the black shape like this. And now to make an exact copy of these red rectangles, simply hold down the alternate key, then hold down your left mouse button and drag them like this. And now we want to reflect them, so simply select the reflect tool, double click on it, from the axis select vertical and select OK. Again select the selection tool and drag these red rectangles at the right side of the black shape, like this. Then hold down the shift key, click once on these rectangles, then select on this smaller circle, from the align to select align to key object, then select this black circle as the key object and click on this icon which says vertical align top. Once you are done, simply deselect the shapes by clicking on the white area. And now we want to remove these gaps. So simply hold down your left mouse button at this handle and drag it like this. Also for this one, like this. Now right click and select ungroup. Also for this one, right click, select ungroup. Then simply drag this blue rectangle at this corner of the red one and simply drag this handle towards the right, then hold down the shift key 
and click once on this black shape from the pathfinder menu simply select minus front then select all of these shapes and select your knife once you are done simply select the direct selection tool select only this anchor point and you can see a small circular icon simply hold down your left mouse button on this one and drag it like this now select this shape select this anchor point drag it like this also for this one and again repeat the procedure with this one and also for this one and this is for today's logo design you can also check out the detailed project on behance i have provided the link in the description and this is for today's logo design tutorial in adobe illustrator you can also share your thoughts about the design in the comments section that whether you liked it or not or if you want to suggest any modifications and if you think that this video helps you in some way then like and subscribe the channel thanks for watching and have a nice day